In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your inbox to different styles that are offered by Gmail. Um, if you look over here to the left, you can see it says I have six unread mail in my inbox, and then there's a drop down menu uh, toggle button just here on the corner. So if I click this, it shows me that there are different types of inboxes. So the classic inbox is the type that your Gmail account came with, but you might want to change it to um, showing your unread mail first. So I could click this one, and now what happens is it sorts my mail so that all of my unread mail shows up at the top, and then there's a small divider bar, and if I've read the mail, you can see that it's uh, below the divider. I'll click over here again. Um, actually, across the top now, it shows us the different options as well. So we could click it this way, or we could return back to the toggle in the corner for the type of email that we wanted to, uh, to have. So let's go down here to Priority Inbox. And this is a special type of inbox that tries to learn what you think is important. So if you're receiving mail that's directed to your email address, it'll show up in this section here, which is marked important. And until you read it, it will stay up here. And over time, Google gets pretty um, comfortable knowing what is important to you and what's not. So if, for example, I wanted to find out, if I wanted to mark this one as more important, I could click on the small, um, looks like an arrow almost, in front of the, of the mail, and you can see that these two now have yellow rectangle arrows in front of them, and this one, since I haven't read it, has moved it up to the top and placed it in the important section, and I, it's unread. So important mail that I have read will end up down here, and important mail that I haven't read is up here. Now if I've started one of my emails, then it will move itself into the starred section. So let's say I read an email, I decide it's important, then I put a star beside it, then after um, I return, it doesn't drop down into this everything else section, it stays in the starred area because um, all of my starred mail will go here, whether uh, Google flagged it as important or not. So I could use this priority inbox to filter my mail on the way in, and I can also switch it over so that um, instead of Google deciding what mail is important to me, um, everything is going to come in here, but if I place a star on something, it will stay in the top half. Um, so I'm not losing my mail all the way down pages um, and days later. If you get a lot of email, it's a helpful thing to do. So those are basically the options. Um, this important first is sort of like the priority inbox, only um, it's a little simpler because it just gives important and everything else, and the starred mail will mix in with other things. You can always get to your starred mail on the left here by clicking under the inbox. And you can see that there are a couple starred mails, but it, it eliminates the clutter and takes away everything else. Um, it works the same way with important. Even if you don't choose a priority inbox, you can click on the left side and have your important mail, the ones with these um, rectangles on the side. And you can you can toggle these as well. I just clicked that one off and marking it as not important. Um, if you're a Facebook user, you may not want to have your Facebook messages all landing in your important every time somebody uh, updates something. So I've um, trained Google, Gmail to not think that anything from Facebook is important. So if I'm looking for something with a message, I might search a little further for it. Anyway, these are things you can try to make your inbox a little bit more manageable. I hope that was helpful.